Hi, it's Jerry with I Love RV Life. One of the most important things I have found in owning an RV is maintaining a healthy black tank. And I have a product, series of products here from a company called Unique that's going to help us keep a clean RV black tank, make sure we don't have clogs, and most important, eliminate odor. Hi, it's Jerry. One of the things about owning an RV, we want to be able to maintain a proper black tank. Well, what is it about maintaining a proper black tank? Well, one thing is that, that is a sure thing that could happen is a clog. If you've ever had a clog in your black tank, we all realize that is a bad day at the campground. It happened to us once a number of years ago, and I promised Joan we would never ever go through that again. It was a terrible experience. Second, a, a black tank that's not ma maintained properly will smell bad. Bottom line, it will stink. And every time you go to open up that valve with your foot and dump whatever waste is in the toilet, that a repulsive odor comes out. That is an improperly maintained black tank. Now, there's some companies that sell these blue things, green things, orange things that, that we can dump inside of our toilets and our black tank. I find that that just makes it worse. You have the odor of the black tank, then you have that unnatural perfumey smell, and I think when the two go together, it's just an absolutely awful experience. Uh, we did that very, very early on in our RV travels, and we knew there had to be a better way. Well. We have been using a product by Unique, and Unique contacted us and said, look, we've got a series now that we would like for you to try from both a maintenance perspective, one-time maintenance perspective, as well as ongoing to maintain your black tank. So I said, well, send me some products and let's try them out. Here's what we have. This is called Tank Cleaner. Uh, I recommended this to someone uh, just back in July. They All their sensors had gone bad, they thought, inside their black tank. They were reading full all the time. I said, look, you just need to clean your black tank. How do we do it? I said, well, there's two different processes. I would suggest you ordering the unique tank cleaner. What I like about this tank cleaner is you pour this inside your tank you fill it up with water, you let it sit overnight, about 12 hours, clean it out the next day, and it will clean your sensors out. Um, it's rare that you have to do it two times in a row. So one of these things that we should do every year when we put our camper up, like if you're putting it up for the winter, or if you're gonna have a period of time that you're not gonna be using it and you've used that black tank a lot, you'll notice those sensors, what they do is they just get a, a scum or gunk build up on them and they will always read like your tank is full. This will clean them out. What I like about using this is they call it a no drive solution. There's some of these that you buy, you have to pour it in before you leave the campground. You got to fill your black tank up with water. I don't like doing that in travel. And then you want the sloshing to clean the sensors off. You don't have to do with this. Pour it in, fill your tank up with water, get those sensors covered and I'll show you how to do that here in just a few minutes and then 12 hours later dump that tank and uh, those sensors will come clean. So this is a great great solution for that. Second, Unique makes a number of products. They make a liquid that you can pour into your tank. They make a loose powder that you can pour in your tank or these which I just absolutely love. These are absolutely fantastic. They make a digested pod and depending on the size of your tank, you put one or more of these inside your tank. They break down, they have an enzyme inside of them, and it will naturally break down all the solids, both human waste as well as toilet paper inside your tank. And when you go to dump your tank, if you have one of those clear fittings, you'll see that all the human waste is completely liquefied after, let's say, five or six days of use. And the toilet paper will literally either be completely dissolved or any toilet paper that's been used recently 
uh, in the last 24 hours will be broken down into little tiny white bits. I found that these pods or the liquid or the individual powder uh, works very, very effectively. I like these. You just grab these RV digested uh, drop-in pods and you're done. You just, you, when you empty your black tank, you put about a gallon of water in. You should do that anyway. And then you drop these pods in and then immediately they start working and they work fantastic. Now, there are some people going, oh, okay, well, I still see my types of toilet paper come out no matter what I use in my tank. Uh, th this will break down household toilet paper if it's given enough time. The problem is if you use, and this is not a kick on Unique, if you use a household toilet paper, let's say that night and then the next morning you go to dump your tank, you may not have had enough time for that toilet paper to break down. We use a marine grade, an RV or marine grade Scots. Uh, it's a good paper, it's soft. And when you use that in conjunction with these pods, it completely obliterates it. It is just literally broken down and either completely dissolved or it's broken down in some tiny pieces. These pods work fantastic, as does the liquid, as does the individual powder that you dump in your tanks. And what I like about this unique product, especially just in your ongoing weekly maintenance, you put it in after every dump, what I like about it is there's no perfume smell. It just works and it works naturally and it eliminates that odor. Now, some people will say, I'm down in Florida. It's 100 degrees down here. I'm still getting some odor. The problem is you want to try to keep your tank under 90 degrees. And if you're one of those, especially if you're hooked up into a campground and you think about, well, I don't need to be using much water in my tank because I don't want to dump it that often. Well, that tank will warm up and you don't want that to happen. You don't have enough water in your tank. Use a good enzyme like the Unique here. Keep plenty of water, do a good hard flush. Make sure you got plenty of water in your tank and it will not smell. You will not have any odor and uh, it works fantastic. We've had great success and we've been using this stuff for years. Now here's something else to consider when you're using an enzyme. An enzyme is an active bacteria that's actually working to dissolve. There are products that you can buy in the grocery store that are referred to as enzyme, but they're for septic tanks. That's different. Septic tanks have a long period of time to be able to digest and liquefy solids. We don't have that luxury in a black tank. We're dumping every five, six days, sometimes even shorter, depending on what our travel styles are or how big of a tank that we have in our, you know, inside of our camper. And we've got to be able to have an enzyme that is more aggressive to be able to break down those solids quicker. And this unique product does that. Again, you can use the pods, the liquid, or the individual scoop powder that they have. It works much, much fi faster than those grocery store brand septic tank style enzymes. So this is what you use. Do not use those inside your home. This stuff is very, very effective. But there's something else you need to consider when you're traveling in an RV. And I've had reports from friends that said, look, we've been using these enzymes and for some reason they quit working. And I've always been puzzled because we've never had that happen in the years and years of RV travel that we've had. And I ask them, well, let me ask you this. How do you clean your toilet? Oh, well, we just take some Clorox and pour around it, or we take Lysol, or we use a Clorox wipe and we wipe it down. Red flag goes off. That can't be done with an enzyme. This enzyme in bacteria is a living organism that's working to break this solid down and when you hit it with a Lysol or a caustic household cleanser or a chlorine bleach, it kills the enzyme and now you've got to get all that out of your tank after three or four different dumps to get all that out before the enzyme is allowed to start working again. It's just absolutely destructive to the enzyme. But there's a fix. Unique 
has created a RV and this can be used all this can be used for those of you who have marine applications and you have heads in your marine the exact same process for an RV happens in marine but they now have an RV toilet cleaner that's based on an enzyme it is not a caustic product it's not a bleach it's not a Lysol it's none of those types of antibacterial things that can impact your enzyme and these you, and you clean your toilet just like you would at home with one of those toilet cleaning products the thing is this is not destructive to your enzyme inside your black tank for unique this is brilliant I'll show you how it's going to work all right so let's go back here i have two i have two bathrooms inside of our camper we've got a full bath in the back and we got a half bath the full bath has a scrubber you know you hook up the water hose to it and it and it rinses and it helps kind of clean the sensors off and so forth our mid bath does not have a scrubber boo it doesn't have one and i have a sensor let me show you that is misbehaving we have this half bath just a little half bath and a toilet and a, and a sink and we have that you'll see here on our power panel we have a, if you can make this out we have gray tank two gray tank one black tank optional that's this bathroom right here and then black tank in the back and you'll notice my tank for the back is showing empty and guess what black tank two should be showing empty as well but it's not it's showing that it's one third full mm, that's not true it's empty and i've got a sensor that is gunked up and uh, we need to do something about it so let me show you how we're going to do that i'm in the uh, spare bathroom now the half bath and uh, we're going to start this process uh, the first thing you want to do is give your cleanser this is the uh, 12 hour tank cleaner that you see here um, this works in a couple of fashions not only is it great for cleaning out your sensors and getting rid of all the gunk on the side walls and that's built up in the bottom but if you've got a clog that's uh, occurred uh, near the front of your uh, dump valve this um, this will eliminate that as well it will literally eat it away so we're going to go ahead and dump this in there and i've got the water turned off to the camper right now i'm going to pour this whole container inside the tank and then I'm going to go get a water hose and we're going to fill the tank completely full. Let it sit for 12 hours. Here we go. This is the easiest way I've found to fill this black tank. Uh, I've disconnected the water from the uh, camper and I'm just going to take a water hose and stick down just a little ways down inside there. And uh, let's go turn it on. We'll fill up the tank. All right, we've got it uh, running now. Now, some may say, Jerry, you've put that water hose down inside your black tank. Isn't that going to make the end of it nasty? It's an easy thing to fix. Uh, this is not for drinking water. Um, take you a Clorox wipe or a Clorox solution, a half Clorox, half water, and a gallon bucket. And you can just dip it inside and swirl it around. And um, that will kill any bacteria on the end of your hose, so you don't have to worry about that. All right, key thing here, we need to monitor the black tank so we don't overfill it. Okay, we'll check the tank here real quick. And we are at full. Last step is just to run a little bit of water in here and kind of seal the, the camper up here. All right, that'll keep any odor from coming inside. Tomorrow, we'll drain the tank and see if we get our sensor back. Well, now we're gonna do the job that so many people don't like to do. We're going to uh, clean the toilet. Uh, or for those of us who are in the military, we affectionately refer to it as it's latrine duty time. But uh, one of the neat things is this RV toilet cleanser, and it's made specifically for black tanks and specifically for those of us who use enzymes, pure enzymes, bacterias, to be able to keep that black tank healthy. Using this, when not using something like a Lysol, a chlorine bleach, a wipe, a toilet cleanser like you would buy in the grocery store, those things will kill the enzyme that's in your tank. And I mentioned this earlier, not just in one dump. It might take three or four times to get all that 
cleanser out of the black tank before your enzymes start working properly again. What happens then? It's not going to break down the solids. The black tank is going to get an odor. I've had people say, hey, I've used enzymes, various companies' enzymes, and uh, it never works for me. It never works. And that's because they're using a harsh, caustic cleanser in addition to the enzyme or cleaning their toilet with it, and it, it will kill it. It just won't work. Okay, let me show you how simple it is to use this. This is very simple to use. Uh, this needs a good cleaning. I'm going to put just a little extra water in the tank just to give me some working room here. And I'll give this a good little shake and we'll squirt it until we turn the water a good color here. We're just going to take a plain old generic household brush and give that area down there a good scrub. Work on these little water stains that come in up here that you get from hard water at many of the campgrounds, just like you do at home. Nothing, nothing different. Get in those really good. Okay. Now then, to finish this off, and this is where so many folks get in trouble, this is where they'll use a Clorox wipe or a Lysol wipe or something like that. I'm gonna take a little bit of this cleanser and I'm gonna put on a paper towel, just a little bit. And this is where I'm gonna come in here and just, you know, clean up the, the toilet really well. All right, I'm gonna leave that. I can actually see particles already breaking loose from down around the gasket. You know, particles get tripped around here and this enzyme will continue to eat away at those. This is not gonna harm the rubber seal in here or the plastic. And this is a porcelain bowl. This is a nice porcelain bowl. So it's not gonna harm that. But the big thing, I'm already seeing some bubble action that's going on around here. I'm gonna let this sit for about, um, I don't know, probably till tomorrow when I go into the other bathroom and dump out the tank. I'm just gonna let that sit and continue to work on the bowl. And uh, we'll be ready to go. Nice clean, nice clean toilet and did not harm the black tank. Perfect. It's been a little over 12 hours since we've put this unique tank cleaner in our front bathroom where we were having sensor problems. So I'm going to go out and dump the tank now and uh, we'll see what comes out. I'm not going to show that on the video and uh, see just, you know, what kind of gunk and so forth has been dissolved. And then we'll check that sensor and see how well it's worked. Let's see what the results were. See if this worked. So if you remember earlier in the video, I showed our black tank number one. And that's for the back bathroom. And then we got black tank number two. This one shows as optional, as optional. And this is the one where we had a sensor problem. Did not have one here on the back black tank, but let's go up to this one. This is the one that was bouncing between one third and two thirds. And now I have no sensor issues. Well, the unique tank cleaner did exactly as it was designed. You pour it in, you fill your tank full of fresh water, let it sit for about 12 hours and it will strip all the goo and gunk out. Now again, I didn't take a video and show you the elbow. I did watch it, so I'll narrate. Uh, it did absolutely dissolve any particles that was inside the tank. I saw no remnants of the black sticky gunk that will come out after a dump or bits of toilet paper, those types of things that you'll see remaining inside the tank. Nothing. Everything was completely liquefied. It was down to something that just looked like dirty brown water and uh, it was gone. It's just absolutely clean and you saw from the sensors, the sensors work great now and I don't have any more problems. So what to do to help extend that life of those sensors in that front tank where we have no scrubbers as well as dissolve the solids both in the front and the back bathroom and that's where we're going to use these RV digested pods. Um, they look like this. They're very simple. These little pods here. And let me show you how those are used. The application for these couldn't be easier. I like to fill the tank up about half full, half full with water. And you just drop one in. Let it sit there for just a little while. It will dissolve, flush the toilet, and now you've got that active enzyme. And I'm good until the next dump. I'll repeat this process again. This tank cleaner worked perfect. It did exactly as advertised. And this front bathroom that we have, we have no scrubber on it. 
and usually sometimes during the year we might have one of the indicators get some kind of gunk or goo that's stuck on that indicator and it just always registers that it has something in the tank and uh, you put the tank cleaner in there as you saw 12 hours later after we filled it full of water it just strips everything out of the tank now why would you want to use something if you like this if you don't have an indicator problem well i can assure you your black tank, even after you've dumped it, is going to have goo and buildup in it. It just is. Uh, it's hard to be able to scrub those out. And if you do not have an internal scrubber, um, you will have residual buildup. And if you're at the end of your travel season, you don't want to leave that tank with that goo in there because it will harden. And time after time, year after year of the use, that will completely build up. I've heard nightmares from people who've done maintenance on these tanks about how that will build up over time. This tank cleaner will prevent that from happening. You pour it in, fill it full of water, 12 hours later dump it, and it will strip everything out of that black tank and keep that black tank super clean for your next season's use. So it's a good end of year maintenance you may want to consider. And this is the first time we've shared this on a video as well. This is your RV toilet bowl cleaner. And um, you just don't want to use something that's caustic like uh, the Cloroxes and the bleaches and the, you know, the grocery store toilet cleaners. Again, those will kill that very important enzyme and bacteria that you just inserted with these pods that you saw me use. Those pods are going to completely dissolve everything that's in that tank. And if something like a caustic cleaner is used, it will kill that and it will no longer be effective. And I've had many people say, I've used these types of products before, these enzymes, and they don't work. And that's because they're killing them with toilet bowl cleaners. And it's just not necessary. You can use this, you know, very inexpensive product. It doesn't take much. Clean your bowl. And, and even, even in areas like the top of the ring, uh, where that ball valve is, where you flush, you can get organic material that builds up around that ring. Uh, this will eat all that up. You don't have to get in there and scrub it all out with a brush. Uh, we saw, see that it just eats that up as well, dissolves it, and then you end up with a perfectly clean bowl with no odor whatsoever. So it works fantastic. Now let me share a couple things about these pods. You saw how easy it is to use. You just put a little bit of water in your toilet bowl, drop your pod in, let it dissolve, flush it, and then you're good to go for about you know five to seven days, however long it, your, your black tanks will hold out for you. Um, and there's no odor. Now, if you get in the hot summer months, some things can happen. It's not a fault of the enzyme. It's just because heat, heat and organic material can create an odor. So in the summer months, we might dump in five days. Our tanks usually last us a little longer than seven just to be able to keep that tank cool or we'll use a little extra water when we flush. And if we do that, that tank stays cooler, stays effective. We have no odor. It's, it's very, very pleasant. None of those nasty perfume smells that you get from the other products that are out there as well. One other thing that I'll mention about these pods that, that is really a, a great feature that we, we like, and that is in our kitchen sink. In the kitchen sink, you can get you know small food particles that will go down the drain. You just can't stop them all. You'll get grease and other products that will be going down there. Once a month, especially if we're traveling for months on end, once a month we'll take one of those pods. We put about you know that much water in the sink. We dissolve it. Once it dissolves, we'll run it through the sink, run a little bit more water in there, and then you know we'll use the sink for that five or six or seven days, however long it lasts filling up that gray tank and at the end of that period we'll dump it that enzyme and bacteria has had a chance to eat all that grease away all that organic material clean that gray tank and keep it from getting built up creating those odors that so many people uh, mention or even worse uh, food gnats have come down the vent from up at the top and are, are, are eating off that organic material it gets rid of all that so that you have a nice clean gray tank as well well Thank you, Unique, for providing this product. Uh, it's very effective. It works as advertised. In today's description, I've got a link that you can click on. There's a number of different products and packages that you can get from Unique for maintaining your tank and keeping your toilet bowls clean. They have liquid products as well if you don't want to use the powders or you don't want to use the pods. They have those as well. If you go out to ilovervlife.com right here,
You can see the badge on the side that we have on our blog pages and our homepage. You can click that as well to be able to go and buy these products. Thank you, Unique. Again, we really appreciate you providing these products. They work fantastic, just as you said they would. I love doing these evaluations for products that work for we RV travelers, and I love RV life too. Thank you.